Janice, let's see what we have to work with. Scans indicate that all components are present. I am mapping out the original configuration now. This is going to make things so much easier. If you do not require me any further, I will focus on the other task that we were discussing. I am just a naturally intelligent system. You can call me Janice. And this is Max. One of many things that our customers enjoy about us is our wide variety of skill sets. There are few tasks that we will not perform. Completing each one with the quality and attention to detail that customers should expect in a finished product. In this series, we will be focusing on arts and crafts projects to give your home that extra something and inspire you to bring out your own creative ideas. For our first project, we will be refinishing these imposing concrete lion statues flanking the entryway by giving them a bold color and allow them to stand out as the guardians that they were meant to be. To begin, spray the lions down with either compressed air or water and let dry if needed. This will allow the paints to adhere correctly. It has been decided that a metallic acrylic craft paint in gold will be used for the body of the lion. Applying the paint to a rag and rubbing it onto the statue with medium pressure will give it an even coat while allowing for the dark color to come through, giving it depth, as well as eliminate any possibility of brush strokes. If a second coat is preferred, add a little water to the acrylic paint to acquire a deeper tone without losing the depth that was achieved in the first coat. A slightly different color, in the second coat, can be used to either add highlights or depth. Alright, Phil. Okay. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Captain, I must ask you to refrain from teasing the lion statues. Besides, do you not have irrigation repairs to complete? I'm just taking a break for a minute. Decided I'd come over to see how things are going over here. Although appreciated. It is unnecessary. Well, it looks like Janice has got... Well, it looks like Janice is doing her thing. I'm going to get back to doing mine. Where were we? Ah yes, we have chosen a yellow gold acrylic craft paint for the globe and wiping the paint on, as we had done before. We are also applying a second coat, thinning the paint with water to brighten the globe while maintaining its depth. As for the base that the lion is sitting on, we have decided to use a masonry stain, similar to the one that we had used on a previous job. However, instead of using a semi-transparent stain, we have chosen a solid color. We want the lion to be able to be differentiated from the base. We believe that using a solid color stain will help us achieve that. To ensure full coverage, we are using a paintbrush and a sponge roller, and a second coat will be required to eliminate any inconsistencies in the finish. Our next step will consist of black semi-gloss exterior paint. We will be thinning the paint with water, rubbing the paint onto the base with a cloth, similar to what was done on the lion, will enhance the texture of the base. Once that is dry, we will dry rub the yellow gold over the black, to accent the texture even further. We have been debating the color of the lion's mane. We wanted it to flow with the rest of the lion and wanted it to be its own entity at the same time. We chose to go with the gold of the lion's body and then add highlights and shading after. Attention to the details when working in arts and crafts can make all the difference. You may not be able to tell when a detail is there. 
However, you will know when it is not. Adding black to the lines in the eyes and the nostrils will help. As well as adding the yellow gold to the inside of the curls in the lion's mane. Making them happy little curls. And finally the black, that we added water to previously, will be used to add distinction to the mane. Using a dry brush method, by applying only small amounts of paint to the brush, and dragging the brush from the top and traveling down. Between the black, and the yellow gold inside the curls, this will give a well needed dimension to the overall look of the lion. Now, if you will excuse me, it might be a good idea for me to check in on the boys. I am not certain if they can be left alone by themselves without adult supervision. <laughs>